This is when I became a computer science graduate. Two months later, I started my marketing journey. Long story short, I just hated coding and I never looked back. Digital marketing has been my thing for the past 10 years. And during that time, lots of things have changed and evolved, especially the emergence of AI tools like ChatGPT. And sometimes I wonder, if I had ChatGPT available to me back then, how would I have learned digital marketing? Well, today I'm creating this video to answer that question. This is what I would do if I had to learn digital marketing all over again. Digital marketing includes a wide range of domains such as search engine optimization or SEO, conversion rate optimization, content marketing, email marketing, influencer marketing, and the list goes on and on. You cannot become an expert in all of them. It doesn't work like that. You have to pick one or two. And when you're starting your digital marketing career, it might be too early to know exactly what you're passionate about or which area you want to specialize in. That's why the first skill I would learn is one that is needed in all domain, which is being customer centric. I would make sure to learn how to develop a persona, which is a representation of my target audience. Whether I'm writing a piece of content, optimizing a website, or setting up a paid campaign, taking my persona into consideration will give me the best chance of succeeding. The best way to identify your persona is when you talk to your existing customers to learn more about their goals, motivations, struggles, and so on. You can easily do that through a survey or by just interviewing them face to face. Now, asking the right questions can be tricky, so I would use ChatGPT to identify them. I would write this prompt. I'm creating a buyer persona for my business and planning to send a survey to my customers to gather insights. Can you suggest a few questions to include in my survey that can help me understand the following areas? Demographics, needs and goals, behavior, preferred channels, and psychographics. And now I have a list of questions that I can ask my customers to know more about them. Now, if and only if sending a survey is not possible or you're working for a company with no customers, I would use ChatGPT to create the whole thing. Let's say, for example, I'm selling a sustainable backpack. I would use this prompt. Create a clear and concise buyer persona for my product. It is a sustainable and waterproof backpack. Answer the following questions to build the buyer persona. Now, in the future, once I have more data and customers, I will make sure to validate this persona. The next logical step is to reach my customers online. It could be organically using content marketing or through paid ads. Now, once again, which one to specialize in depends on your passion and your career goals. For me, I started my career by managing paid ads, but in the last few years, I became more passionate about content marketing. So by doing both, I discovered one very useful skill to have, whether you're doing this or that. Copywriting. I wish I learned that a lot earlier. Whether you're writing a blog article, video scripts, social media captions, emails, or ad copy, if it can resonate with your audience, you hit the jackpot. And yes, I know ChatGPT can write everything on your behalf, but it's doing the same thing for everyone else. You still need the human element to stand out. So learning more about copywriting can help you train ChatGPT better to write in a tone of voice that's more suitable to your style. The first draft should always come from you. And then ChatGPT can step in, review it, refine it, and give you feedback. I would use these prompts, for example. Here's a paragraph I wrote for a product description. Can you review it and give me feedback on how to improve it? I wrote this ad copy for a social media campaign. Can you point out any areas that need improvement? Can you help me adjust the tone of this email to make it sound more friendly and approachable? Here are two versions of a Facebook ad I wrote. Can you compare them and tell me which one is more effective and why? Remember, the first draft should come from you. And last but not least, perhaps the most important skill of them all, data analytics. If you can't understand how your customers are behaving, your campaigns are performing, what's going right, what's going wrong and why, you're gonna be in big trouble. So if I had to learn it all over again, I would use ChatGPT to learn more about different metrics. So for example, what are the most important metrics to measure the success of my email marketing campaigns? I would also use ChatGPT to practice with dummy data. I want to learn how to analyze the results of my Instagram ads. Can you create some sample data and quiz me to test my knowledge? Learning these skills will provide you with a strong marketing foundation, no matter which area you choose to specialize in. My final piece of advice is for you to get your hands dirty and experiment to identify your true passion. 
take on freelance projects, start an internship, or help a friend out. Just make sure to get hands-on experience. I hope you found this video helpful. Just make sure to like and subscribe, and good luck.